Well, let's talk about adding contacts to your phone. <clears throat> there are a few options depending on which phone you are coming from. If you have a device that previously had an SD card or you are a Google user on Android, uh, you've got the ability to back up those contacts to your Google account or to your SD card, put that card into the phone, and upload those contacts into your, your new phone. Uh, if, again, if you're Google, you just sign on to your Google account and those uh, contacts would become available. Um, but if you're using a flip phone and coming from an older model flip phone, uh, unfortunately a lot of those options are not available and manual entry uh, is, is required. Uh, there's a couple ways you can do that. Um, you can come to the contacts uh, and I click on contacts. You can see I've got the option to create a new contact or, or import contacts. Um, again, the imp import from storage would be if you have an SD card with your contacts on there, uh, you, can, you can move those contacts in. Um, we don't in this case, so I'm just going to show you about creating a new contact. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, you'll just enter the, the name, the phone number, uh, and any other additional information if you'd like, an email address, anything as much or as little as you want, and you can add a contact. Uh, and then you just hit select to save that contact um, so <clears throat> again the uh, entering entering uh, names is if you're used to your old phone is, is the same method you know I can click on the letter if I click quickly it's going to shuffle through those letters if I s slowly pause you can see then that it's it's it put it in there. You know, if I need to erase that letter, I can just hit the C or the clear button, and then I can continue on. Um, again, it's not going to require you to put anything more than than what you want there for a contact name. And then again, is when you enter the phone number, you definitely want to enter all ten digits, the area code, and the phone number, so that that is stored properly. And when you go to use your make your call from contacts. Uh, it will properly store that so that you can use it. The other option to make a call is every time uh, anybody were to call you, that's going to become part of your caller ID or your call history. Uh, so if I go into the main menu and go to the phone, I can see recent calls, uh, which there aren't any on this phone, unfortunately. But if I were to have any calls in here or any phone numbers, um, I could select that number and just add it to my memory or to the contact list I should say or if I were to make a call which again this phone isn't active so it won't allow me to make the call but you see in the lower left I can click the soft key on the left and that'll give me the option to create that new contact as well so a few different ways to create contacts uh, once they're in there the good news is they're in there forever uh, until you delete them. Uh, it takes some time sometimes to transfer those over, but you save a bunch of time in the long run.